Coffee Chat Day 44. Grab yourself a coffee, sit down, enjoy the vibe. So, not much to talk about today. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Little fly thing got all up in my face there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, not much to talk about today. Just went to church and did all that, right? So, you know, like, we're having a chill day. We're having a nice old boring day. Just trying to get back into routine after missing like nearly two weeks because of that, because of that really annoying cold. And yeah, so, you know, we're just, we're breaking, we're breaking ourselves back in easy here. You know, we're just, we're going with the flow of it. We're just taking it as it comes. We'll, we'll, we'll get back into the full groove of things soon. Uh, I went to sleep quite early last night, which I'm pretty happy with because normally I, like nowadays, I'm not usually sleeping early. But, you know, I'm, I'm very glad that I can at least get back to going to sleep early, get, like getting out of bed early, you know, all that sort of stuff, right? Still want to get back to that 4 a.m. sort of pattern where it's like in bed by 8 up by 4 a.m. Because I've known, like, that was a very peaceful time for me. And that was just, like, the time period where I was just mainly recording videos and just, like, working out, going to church, like, doing all that sort of stuff, right? And, like, I don't know, it was just a very peaceful time. Not saying that, like, right now my life isn't peaceful, but it's, like, right now it's sort of a hectic sort of piece, right? Where it's, like... You know, it's a bit all over the place with, like, my schedule, my day-to-day, -day, like, what it looks like. It's a bit all over the place, but, you know, I, I have, like, pillars there that I can sort of rely on to guide my way through the day. But I like having that more strict of a routine where it's like, alright, I'm getting up at the same time each day, I'm going to bed at the same time each day. Don't need to think about those. I just need to think about all the waking hours instead. But hey, we'll we'll probably end up back at the four a.m. wake up cycle soon enough. Actually, speaking of church, that was the first time. Well, today was the first time I went in like two weeks. Which I'm pretty, like, I'm not happy about missing two weeks of church. But I'm happy that I actually managed to actually find the time to go. Well, not find the time, but, like, I managed to will myself into going. You get me? And I forgot just how much I missed it. Because, like, when I was there earlier, I really felt, like, very... I suppose spiritual in a way. Like, I think that's just the best way to say it. I just felt very connected to what was being said. Like, I felt like my prayer was a little bit better. Like, normally when I go to church, like, usually I have a lot of thoughts run through my head. I'm usually not very present. But today I felt very present. And, you know, there were still thoughts running around. But, you know, I'm very glad that I could at least somewhat be present for church. I still have a long journey ahead of me when it comes to like Christianity. And I sort of know that. Because like, normally I can learn things very quickly. I can get to a level of expertise that most people wouldn't usually be able to get to in the same amount of time period that it takes. Well, here, how do I put this actually? So let's say, right, like, I'm learning about something for about six months. 
and if someone else is also learning about that thing for six months, I would usually end up at a higher level of expertise in those six months than the other person would. And, like, you know, it depends on who the other person is. Like, obviously, this isn't, like, this isn't, like, me trying to be arrogant or anything, but it's just, I feel like I can learn things very quickly. And I feel like a lot of people can, but just, I'm just speaking about me here, right? So, normally, I can learn things very quickly, but I feel like for Christianity, it hasn't been like that. And that has me, like, very, like, it has me looking forward to the future, and just learning more about the faith and like how to actually well I know how to worship God well do I? I I don't even know right like that's what I mean right I'm I'm not an expert at being Christian and I feel like a lot of people that watch this channel like a lot of the subscribers and returning viewers tend to have this idea of me being like someone who's well versed in this stuff. I'm I'm not, but you know, I know like the basics. I know what I sort of need to do. And I'm more focused on like my own personal progression forward as a Christian rather than trying to teach people how to be a Christian. Because I I don't know how to teach people how to be a Christian. I'm not at that point yet. But Hopefully one day I'll get there, and when I do get there, hopefully I'll be able to give good advice. But for now, I'm just focusing on my progression as, like, a follower of Christ. I don't know if I said this in yesterday's video, but... Since I got that cold, like the, everyone knows about the two week Minecraft period, right? So ever since I got that cold, I've been like, sort of in that Minecraft period and I'm liking it. I'm, I'm finding it very fun. I started my first few hardcore worlds. I wanted to play on like a very modded version of Minecraft for the hardcore worlds just because you know, base Minecraft gets very, very boring very quickly. And I want something that has, like, a little bit more where it's, like, I can explore something new. But trying to get mods working on a laptop that can't, that can barely run vanilla Minecraft is very hard. Like, it's very hard. But I'm sure I'll figure out, like, a an assortment of mods that will sort of satisfy that need to explore while also not blowing up my laptop but who knows I'm hoping I do because I really I really want to play like some of the biome mods yeah like you know the ones like plenty of biomes terralith all those sort of ones right just because I like that I like exploring new biomes in Minecraft and like also in real life new sort of places that look different to old places I've been I suppose I feel like I've been a lot more wary about how much of these that I'm smoking in a day. Just because, like, you know, with the cold and all, it's like, I I have been very short of breath. And I wouldn't be, I would be lying if I said I didn't think these were partially responsible for it. And I, I do want to quit these as soon as I can now. And I'm just sort of riding through, like, the last little bit of tobacco that I have, like, right now. And hopefully that will, like, after I run out of tobacco, hopefully I'll be able to will myself into not smoking anymore. 
Or at least not trying to buy another pouch. Like, if someone offers me a smoke, yeah, fine. Especially in, like, the first few months of quitting. Well, maybe not the first few months. But, I don't know, like, it, it's, it's a weird sort of... Like, the way I'm planning on quitting smoking is a very weird sort of trail. Like, I can't really... I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to, like, quitting smoking. Normally, I just try cold turkey, and after, like, a week, then I'm, like, back to it, right? But it's, like, in that week, I really feel like I don't need to smoke. Well, I really feel like I don't need to smoke just sounds weird so I don't really feel like I need to smoke right but you know after like that week's up after that little honeymoon period is up then it's like a whole different story but like you know I feel I feel semi-confident in my ability to quit but honestly it really depends on how I feel during the day, like, you know, some days I feel like I really want to smoke, and other days it's like, nah, not really. So it's like, I'm hoping that once I do run out of tobacco, I'm just gonna have like a month of continuous days where I don't feel like I need to smoke, and like, you know, just get lucky with it essentially. Get lucky with feeling like. Oh, I don't need it. <laughs> it really is like a coin flip some days now. Where it's like, alright, are you going to want to smoke today? And then you flip the coin, and it's like, it lands on heads. Oh, congratulations, you don't want to smoke today. <laughs> and I'm just hoping for a lot of those consecutive days in a row. Well, consecutive days in a row that's just saying the same thing twice but you get me like just a clean straight path but you know I, it's like I also want to put my own mental endurance to the test a little bit and just like you know like I wouldn't mind a little bit of a challenge when it comes to quitting like I I would like to have those little moments where it's like, I have to fight back against my own mind. Just because I find that's where, like, a lot of mental strength is made. Because, like, when you're, when you're trying to quit an addiction, all it really takes is one day where you say no. Where, like, you have the choice between doing it and not doing whatever you're addicted to and you choose to not do it and all it takes is just that one moment of strength to sort of get like a like a base layer like a foundation level that you can sort of work on and build off of you get me maybe i'll go into that in like another video i feel like that could be a very good sort of advice focused video but Actually, yeah, that, that wouldn't be too bad. It's just I sort of... I'm fucking up with that rule, too. Like, it is very hard to say no that first time. But once you do it, it is, like, a little bit easier. It gets a little bit easier to say no every time you say no. Right? Like, it's something like that. All right. Coffee's down. That's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching. And keep running when no one else is.